What up, guys? This is Kibo Cars. Back here again with another video. Today, I got some session gameplay for you guys on the Xbox One X. Now, first and foremost, before I dive into my opinion about the game, I only played the first two hours, and the game is in the Xbox Game Preview program, meaning the full version of the game has not been released yet. It even does give you a warning in the beginning of the game, mentioning that this title is a pre-release software, some platform features might not be working correctly, some game features might not be working correctly, and might crash. Now, the game offers five different control schemes or difficulties. From what I've heard, the best one to use is the legacy difficulty or control scheme. Apparently, this is pretty identical to the controls that were in the game EA Skate. Personally, I've beat all three Skate games, and so, you know, that's what I'm used to, and ultimately, that's the game I'm really waiting for, is Skate 4, but EA's never going to make the damn game. But besides that, I had heard some people talking crap on Twitter about the game, saying that the controls were really bad. Now, again, the game is in game preview, so it's pretty much in a beta. Um, I'm sure it runs much better on the PC. I gotta be honest, I found that the game was really glitchy in the two hours that I played it. I can imagine it's only worse if you're playing on a regular Xbox One. Now overall, I gotta say, the game does have potential. You can press Y to get off your board. Similar to Skate, you press the same button to jump back on your board. But ultimately, what this video comes down to is, as an avid skateboard fan, you know, I played all the Tony Hawk games, all of the EA Skate games, you know, I was really looking forward to this game. So, maybe it's just that. My expectations were super high because I was really excited about it. But man, I gotta say, I was super, super disappointed with this game. I gotta say, in terms of graphics, the game is on point. You know, the camera angle and the graphics are really good. But the gameplay was just super glitchy, guys. I feel like your skater moves way too slow. Even when, you know, you get a couple pushes in. It just, I don't know, it feels too slow to me. And then ultimately, um, I think the biggest problem with the game is that you fall really, really easily. Like, you know, even if you bump into a wall, you find yourself being thrown off your board, literally. Or, you know, just falling straight to the ground. So yeah, that's going to be the first thing I think they need to fix, is the tolerance of you falling off your board. Because, honestly, it really ruins the experience. I found that I was falling off my board all the time, guys. Like... I'm going to show you guys some highlights of, you know, my two hours of gameplay. And you're going to find that most of this video, my skaters eat in the cement for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. As I mentioned before, the game has a lot of potential. The environments are really beautiful and they're well set up. But honestly, right now, it's just a big tease. You know, by looking at the areas that you were able to skate through in the game preview program. Man, I was just thinking of all of these sick lines that I would be able to do you know, if I was playing skate, but they're just not realistic in session. Maybe I just suck at the game, or you know, the game is just really not ready for release. So yeah, I just felt like the game is a big tease right now. There's a bunch of areas that, you know, I wanted to jump up and grind and start a sick line, but the skater can't even ollie high enough to reach those areas. And it seems like they designed the levels, you know, to be able to start you know, a combo or a line right there, and you can't even reach it. So, I don't know. Again, maybe my expectations were too high. They say that this game is a skateboard simulator, so it is supposed to be very realistic. And I guess the sad truth about skateboarding is, is that you do bail a lot. You do fall off your board a lot. So, I don't know if that's their intention to make it this way in the game, but I felt it just really turned me off. I mean, honestly, I'm not really too hyped for this game anymore. I will try it again once it has a full release with achievements and trophies. Maybe I'll make some achievement guides and give it a second chance and maybe touch base again on this video a couple months from now once they have the official release. But if you guys are interested in giving this a try, you can download it for free on Xbox right now. Just look up Session in the Microsoft Store and you'll be able to download it. It will have a free trial for two hours. You have access to the full game for two hours, but then you will have to purchase it. 
The game does release on June 17th, so it is releasing in a few days. But keep in mind that that is not the full version. That is basically like the beta version. You all have a good idea that they're launching the final version once the achievements or trophies are available for the game. For now, I gotta say, I'm more looking forward to Skater XL, which is another skating game coming out this year. And then also, everybody knows, they're remastering the legendary Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. Super hyped for that. Make sure you keep an eye out for my videos on that. I'll definitely be making achievement guides and trophy guides for that game. And I'll definitely be uploading some gameplay once the warehouse demo releases. Other than that, if you happen to be a session fan and maybe I got things twisted, let me know how I can have a better experience with the game in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.